In this video, we're going to cover how to easily prepare for any interview. And this can be applied to any industry, any level of position. And you need to remember these important concepts. And I've tried to wrap it up into one principle. And by the way, preparing for an interview is one of the biggest fatal mistakes that people make. And we're going to cover the top 10 here in, in the next uh, upcoming video. But I'm surprised at how many people think if my resume is in order and my story is correct and I've kind of looked over the job description, I'll just kind of fly by the seat of my pants on the rest. Don't do it. I've seen it. it I've seen devastation happen time and time again when people do that. But here's the principle that I want you to remember when it comes to preparing for an interview. Remember to get altitude. Now you say, what does that mean? See, you're so focused, candidates can be so focused on just the opportunity that they forget about the big picture and why it's important that they prepare beyond just making sure their answers and their ducks are in a row, so to speak. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, look at it from a 30,000 foot view. Do industry research. If you're, getting, if you're having an interview in an area where you, prior, you, you don't have any previous industry experience, you need to spend some time researching that industry. You can do that on Hoover's. Use Google Finance. Use Yahoo. Use these different tools and actually do some research in the industry. What are the trends? What is the health of the industry? How about the growth pattern? What about any areas of technological advancement? You need to be kind of looking at the industry as a whole and getting a good grasp of it. Then you can narrow your focus down a little bit to a 20,000 foot view and that's doing company research. This is critical. Companies want to know that you want to work for them. They want to know that you've already done your research, you know what the company's about, and you want to go to work for them. Now as far as company research you can look on the company websites a good place or I've showed you this website PIPL.com before and use the business feature tab to gain as much information read articles find out what this company is all about what is the direction they're heading what's the stability the growth the market share what are their products all about you need to make sure that you spend some time doing some research on that aspect then you can narrow down a little bit more to the 10,000 foot view do some personnel research. Who are the major players that are involved? What is the structure of the organization like? You can get that kind of information on LinkedIn, Facebook, using the PIPL.com again on the people side version of doing research and trying to get some understanding about the personnel that's involved. Also not added in there is just through basic networking. You can find out from recruiters or from other people that have worked there or people who know about the company and find out what their company culture is like. It is so critically important that you do all this. And you get you get this point, 75% of it's this here. But people spend 75% on the last point that I'm about to cover. So when people are getting ready for an interview, they're doing exactly the opposite of what they need to be doing. So you're looking at the industry. It's like kind of backing away from the tree and you're seeing the whole forest. And you're seeing the whole industry as a whole. Then you're narrowing down to company research. What's this, a com this company? What are they all about? Then you're narrowing down to the personnel, the, the structure, the people that are in place. And then finally, you're looking at at the runway level. This is where you're doing opportunity research. This is the specific job that you are going to be doing for the company. Is there any potential growth or advancement in the company? What is the scope, the responsibility, any travel requirements? What's the reporting structure? What are those important elements? And uh, some of the best answers you can get is from networking, asking other people to give you insight into what it's about, especially recruiters. If you're working through a recruiter, they know the hot buttons of what the hiring manager is looking for. Use that to your advantage in preparing for an interview. So I hope you got something out of this short video. Remember to get altitude whenever you're preparing for an interview.